Hello everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, hope you're having a good time over the holidays. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make my uh, duck liver parfait, famous duck liver parfait as everybody says. Uh, my family made me do it now for Christmas dinner on, on uh, Tuesday. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a quick preparation how I, get, uh, how I get it started. And if you would like the recipe, the complete recipe, then uh, subscribe on my website which is listed below. And I will send it to you in details, a detailed recipe, okay? Okay, uh, so I have here all my ingredients. Uh, I have here 15 ounces of fresh duck liver. Uh, I have uh, two tablespoons of shallot, half a tablespoon of garlic, salted in a tablespoon of butter, deglazed with white wine, reduced till it's dry and chilled, like this. Peppercorns that are gonna go in there. Uh, a, a reduction of port, Madeira and cognac that are reduced to a syrup. Two eggs, uh, 13 and a half or 14 ounces of clarified butter. Uh, seasonings, uh, salt, pepper, a little cayenne, a little Swiss seasoning, but you can use whatever, whatever uh, you like according to your taste. Some lean pairing and uh, of course the mold in which we are going to uh, poach, poach it or bake it. Okay, so the first thing I got to do is uh, uh, sap my duck liver in the blender uh, just for a couple of turns. You don't want to puree it, you just want to sh uh, shred it so I can strain it through this uh, sieve here. So let's do that. Parfait is a very smooth texture, almost like a butter-like texture. And it really should be an etamine, which is a, a, a almost like a baker's sieve. One layer of, of sieve, one layer of wire. This one is like a spaghetti strainer and has a double wire. So I'm going to have a little bit of loss of liver here by doing this whole thing. But I figured it in in the weight, so there's a little extra liver there for the loss I'm going to have here. Okay, so I'm just going to try to take some of these things out of here so they don't stay after because we have to put the liver back in the blender. Okay, good. Okay, so now let's push this through here. And then you'll see what's left in the strainer. a little more pushy to get it through here. But I did have almost 16 ounces of, of liver and I only need like 14 and a half so So now you can see, here, one second, and scrape this off. So now you can see what's left in here. That's basically just skin and veins. That should give me at least 14 ounces of liver. 
14 ounces of liver in the bowl right now. So now we're going to put this back in the blender. There you go. Okay. And then we're going to add the shallot garlic white wine reduction to it. And we're going to zap it for a minute. And then I'm going to add a little bit of port, cognac and uh, brandy reduction just to liquefy it a little bit. I'm going to put the two eggs in there, whole eggs. Okay, let's clean up the sides a little bit here. Make sure it's all getting pureed evenly. some seasonings in there, little Liam parents. This is all according to your taste, uh, but my family likes it spicy, so a little cayenne, fresh black pepper, and a little bit of salt. I'm just putting a little bit of seasoning now and then when I'm finished pureeing it we're gonna pour it back in the bowl and adjust the seasoning. Okay so now comes the most important part. We'll add the other we'll add the other reduction of uh, of wine and cognac and now we're adding slowly the 13 and a half ounces of liquefied butter. Very slowly so it doesn't separate. seasoning and the most interesting and nicest part of making this is tasting the raw liver <laughs> that's the part the part I never liked but over the years I got used to it or I usually called somebody else to taste it for me and they thought it was like chocolate mousse and I fooled them with, <laughs> with the tasting part <laughs> I was making this in Mexico once and one of my partners came by and said, oh, what you got there? Chocolate mousse? I said, yeah, taste it. And he put his big finger in there and tasted it and he almost threw up. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to adjust the seasoning a little bit now. the uh, the reduction the brandy and the port wine cognac reduction ok 
Okay, we can add the green peppercorns now. And a little more. This is like a vegetable extract seasoning, popular here in Switzerland, but you can use whatever whatever seasoning you would like. Okay, let's see. Spill a little salt. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so now the next step is to put it in a mold and, and bake it. Okay, so here's the finished product now. We're going to put this in this creuset, in this creuset mold to bake. going to seal it up with the foil. We're going to seal it up with foil. Okay, and then we're going to put it in a water bath as high as possible and uh, up to all the way to the top without just spilling the water all over and bake it in the oven in time. Okay, here we have the mold now, the water bath. Make sure you wrap the terrine, the entire terrine in, in foil, nice and sealed so that it maintains the steam inside the mold. <clears throat> and then uh, place it in a water bath as high as you possibly can without getting any water in. And we're gonna bake it for one hour at 200 Fahrenheit or 93 Celsius or about 100 Celsius for one hour and just put as much water as you can without getting it in a mold okay one hour and after that when, when it's cooked after one hour we're gonna let it chill and uh, I'm gonna pour a little bit of liquefied butter, usually it's dog fat, which, which I don't happen to have now, but butter is fine. A coat of butter over the whole top of the terrain to seal the top so it doesn't get brown. And, uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, it just came out of the oven, it's been an hour. Just took it out of the oven. Uh, so we unwrap it, put this over here. And now uh, we're going to put this uh, clarified butter over the top, a nice thick coat, so it doesn't get any darker than it is, like this. And this is it. So now chill this overnight, and uh, I will show you what it looks like when it's chilled down, okay?